Howdy y'all, hope you're all doing good. I'm uh, not doing too bad, I suppose. I'm still breathing. Yeah, just uh, trying out a new microphone. Got the Rode microphone from uh, Nick Pixels. Ordered that, and then I had uh, took a little bit. I had the microphone for a week or so, two weeks, something like that. And uh, I had to find the right cord that would work with my phone. Because <laughs> uh, apparently Androids are a little picky. But anyway, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little bummed out tonight. But I'm super pumped at the same time. So I have a toothache going on. I have bad teeth, uh, bad family genetics. You know, that's... Uh, gum disease so, um, pretty much my whole mouth needs to be done no matter how well I take care of them so it's I don't know it's always been a fighting thing my whole life and braces and, uh, I have diabetes which is really bad and very hard to take care of your teeth I mean it is what it is I, I pretty much only have two good teeth in my mouth, my two front teeth. Yeah, the rest are either missing, fake, or they're really, really, really bad. So, I'm afraid to go to the dentist because I don't have that kind of money. Most of my, that will come out of my pocket. And, yeah. But anyway, that's a whole different story. So, if I'm talking weird, my mouth's weird, because I'm, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. But anyway, enough said. I am super pumped. Uh, watched uh, Tasman's uh, last video. I finally got his package uh, that we did the dog spikes for. And uh, there's a couple stickers in there. His XP stickers and X uh, uh, decal. Uh, double bit axe, cross axe, decal, I made for him. So, yeah, all good. All good. That I, That is why I do what I do and use whatever skills and talents I have up in my mind. Uh, just uh, I just love giving back and helping out. And I see a little bit of lag in the camera. It might be because the microphone is plugged in. I'm not sure. We'll turn that down. So, anyway. Yeah, I'm super pumped. That, that's what it's all about. I'm not looking for recognition. I'm not looking for any special favors or anything. I just love doing that stuff. I know I've, if I can help somebody out... That's, that means the world to me. That's, uh, that, that's what makes me happy. You know, I love it. But, so, yeah. So, I have a little bit of project going on tonight. And I kind of started on a little bit here. Just see how it goes. But I have the handle for the Home Light Super XL. And I... And that it was, you know, rough shape. And I've been trying to clean it up with either sandpaper or and uh, a scotch brake pad. They work okay, but they're just not getting the finish that I want. So, this is the finish I want. Not, see that? Nice. You know how I did it? I stuck it on the uh, um, wire wheel on my little bench grinder. Put the wire wheel on it and I wanted a uh, in circular motion so I've been going with the tube instead of or again around the tube instead of with it I didn't want to go this way I wanted a kind of a brushed look to it and it kind of shined it up more than it did give it a brushed look so I still have this part to do you kind of see right here where it stopped you see the difference yeah, pretty cool. So, after I get this cleaned up, and 
I'm going. I'm going to have. To, I'm going to do a uh, clear powder coat. So I'm going to put a clear coat on it. I'm going to keep all the little dings and nicks and all that in it. You know, I'm not going to make a new one, which I could, but I'm not. I like the. I like the character in it. Plus, the rest of the saw has all the the same thing. So I like to keep the character in it. So we just got, we have a pl couple plugs, oh actually one, I think this one's for Nick Pixels bar, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it would have to be. But we got the plug too, and it had like a blue anodizing on it, I don't know if the camera will pick it up in here, but it was blue instead of silver, or the natural aluminum. I I wanted to go that route, but then again, I think that might have been a little too much blue on it. And is it and it's very faint. It's very faint. So I I really wasn't too concerned about copying that part. So I'm just gonna do a polished aluminum with a little brush look to it and powder coat it clear. And we have the Super Duty, the SD model of the clear coat. So I'll put up with some major abuse without ruining it. And it also kind of gives you a, a barrier, um, kind of like a wrap on it. I mean, it's not going to be like a rubber wrap on it or anything, but it'll give you, a, instead of just bare metal, you know, it'll give you something. So... Uh, we just got to finish up the rest of the top of this. So, um, I'll move my uh, chair out of the way. So we can come over here. See if I uh, get you all in here if I'm not blocking it or anything. Oh no! Oh yeah, I'm still blocking it. Um, huh? I don't know. Where can we go with this? Oh, this don't look too bad. So this is just a regular wire wheel. Nothing special. This is all I've been doing. No, that's, that's it. That's all I've been doing. Lately going over it. Yes, I did get my finger, if anyone caught that. A little bit. I'll lift. Yep, I did it again. That'll do it. Looks pretty good. Uh, 
I get in this little elbow here. A little bit more. Yeah, that's it. We're done. Turn that noisy thing off. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So now, man, it's hurting, hurting to talk. So now, uh, all we have to do is preheat this thing and powder coat it. So. I'm going to go ahead and preheat this for about 10 minutes. Take it out, let it cool. And uh, spray it. Yeah, I don't know how I want to hang this yet. Yeah, I'm we'll probably hang it like this. Yep, so, yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, and we got to do this. So. What I'll end up doing, I'll uh, wire wheel this too, and then I'm thinking we can just stick, hammer that back in there, and leave it as is. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. So, all right, I'll be back, and then. I'm going to unplug the microphone and see if it works. I couldn't quite tell a difference earlier, but I don't know. We'll see. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So this has been preheated because it's aluminum. Had no issues. So I got it cleaned out pretty good. Now, this is the way I'm going to hang it. I have to do it. If I've done one, it's a little too low. The bottom of it, it's a little too close to the, the heating elements in the bottom of the oven. So, I don't want to burn and bubble the powder coat on the bottom end. So, we're going to do it this way. So, this is all ready to go. I'm going to hang it up here and then I'm going to move you all. Alright, yeah, now this second half here, I do not have the microphone plugged in. So we're going to try it without the microphone. Um, um, maybe we'll just do this part in, uh, without the microphone, then we'll plug it in. And uh, we'll see if you pick me up from the other side of the uh, garage. <laughs> Okay, let's get her done. All right, let's do it. I know, I've been trying to get myself to say the catchphrase a little bit more. Let's do it. I'll bring y'all down a little bit here. I'm going to keep you back a little bit. Only simply because I'm going to have to, I can't move this because it's got the two hooks on it. And I'm going to have to get back behind there. And I don't want to spray y'all. I don't want a bunch of powder on my, uh, on my phone. <laughs> so, I have the gun all set up. We have the HD, HD clear coat. Having a little issues. A little issue with my uh, air compressor. It's, uh, the release valve keeps popping, so I'm thinking I have to replace that. Alright, now, this is going to look a little weird going on at first. 
uh, it, it goes on white. So the powder is white. So I'm not powder coating it white. It will be clear by the time it get it's heated and uh, and melted. It, it'll be clear. All right. Let's get it done. So yeah, it goes on white. Which is kind of nice because then you know where you, you sprayed, where you put the powder. Now, the powder should have attracted to the back of the, of the handle on the back side here. But, I'm going to spray it anyway, just to make sure we have the proper coverage. Just top of that, make sure we get the sides. I think that'll do. You don't need much on the clear coat. Alright. Set that all down. Alright. So. Now. I want to play around with this. Uh, uh, speak, the speaker. Speaker. Microphone. So. I'm going to angle you all. Over there. As you can see all my mess. My projects I got going around. I got parts of the ATV. Umbrella, I'm trying to fix up my parents. Still trying to find the right tubing for that. But anyway. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Alright. We'll see if that makes a difference. I'm curious. Alright. So here we have it. It's all white. Now watch. I'll see you on the was was G G C L Good Country Living. What do you say on the flip? I can I like that. That's right. I like that uh, little thing you did, bud. It's pretty cool. Because it actually, you know, you flip right over to the next sprint. It, yeah, I'm sure you get it. Alright, let's go put this in. Now this is going to bake about 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Let's see if we can open this. Okay. So it don't take long. Set our timer here. Ten minutes. So I will see you all in about ten minutes. And we'll go from there. And I think that's gonna call it a night. I'm gonna call it a night. Uh simply because my my tooth is killing me. It's bring me down. <laughs> it's bring me down. I'm trying to stay positive. I am positive. What are you talking about? I am positive. Alright. I'll see y'all back in about 10 minutes. Hey y'all. Alright, we're back. Now. You hear the beeping. I'll go grab it so you can see it. Look at that.
This looks like a bar, right? That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Right there. Just looks like a bar. But, it's clear coat. It's got a nice, good, thick coat on it, too. Now, what you could do in these cases, if you want it thicker, you would flash flash the powder coat right so that means like we've been doing on um, the lettering of Nick Pixels saw where we would take one color flash it just past the melting point okay just at the just at the melting point really and then um, take it back out let it cool Spray it again, put it back in, and probably go about two or three times. I wouldn't go over three. But yeah. Yep, that turned out pretty nice. Alright folks, well, I know that wasn't too much in this video for being part 11. I think we're up to 11 um, but that was just um, I'm having issues with the tooth and um, yeah it's just been just one of those nights and then we don't have a lot going on until we get parts but I also want to show you we also need to powder coat the other side the other cover oh also I want to show you something now I went and tested or trying out, kind of testing things out, getting a feel for the uh, the home light. Well, it sucks, but it can be fixed. It's not a big deal. It just sucks because timing wise. All right. There's the Super XL. You see that? Yeah, don't mind this. I'm making gaskets here. My cord. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was pulling on it. I tell you what, this thing has a ton of compression. Ton of compression. I'm very impressed. So, I'm going to unplug you here. Okay, whoop. Things tipping around on here. Okay, so there, you can see the microphone. But yeah, so I have the cord problem here. So my spring, this done it before, once before, and my spring, it, it's, um, <laughs> I think we're need, gonna need new coil spring, folks. I think we're gonna need new coil spring. Okay. Um, yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, I might be able to, to get it to pull a couple more times so we can get it started before a new spring comes along. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll see what I can do with the spring. That way we can, uh, at least get it started, you know. Also, wanted to show you. I kind of, I was doing, I was doing this when I was talking to Nick Pixel last night, and because uh, I, I seen it needed to get done. But on the top here, uh, you see that white? So I painted the white on the stripes here. I kind of got a, a nasty glare. Oh, uh, see, use my hat here. There we go. So, I painted the white. It does match the powder coat white. So that's good. And I touched up a couple of areas on the white on the side cover. 
Yeah, it's 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 a little dirty because I had dirty hands, but you can't tell where I was patching up. You just see the dirty spots where my fingers were touching. Yeah, so I had dirty fingers. Mechanic life, right? Got the mechanic's hands. So yeah, it's um it's turning out, and we got our big pot box of parts for next. We're just waiting on a couple more things, waiting for the air filter for this. Now we got the handle done. We can get that on there. Got a couple more bolts. We want to powder go black. And um, and the cover, the other side. We have the other side to get done. Yep, because that, that was a mess up. Also, I almost lost the clutch clutch uh, turning over because this nut here is loose it don't it's, a, it's supposed to be a locking nut and well it, it it don't do that now so that's just a little update on that and right now I'm got the gasket material out I'm making a little gasket here this one's hard as a rock for the uh for the fuel cap and I'm gonna make one for the oil cap as well so all right folks well I'm gonna stick you back in the in the tripod there move you up there we go so I hope uh hope you all enjoyed that I apologize I'm not as enthusiastic as I usually am Pain will do that to you, but I'm not complaining. Yep, uh, we're, it's it's a it's a been a good night, good day. Uh, Tasman, I love you, brother. Uh, I'm I'm super happy that uh, that that dog worked out for you, and fits right fit fits real nice. I, I'm glad I had Nick Pixel's saw here, uh, the the copy and make a piece for you, or not copy. I didn't. I didn't have a spike. I still have to make one for his too. And my 55. My Pro Mac 55. So, yes. Um, I hope you all take care. Be safe. Be kind. Please spread the love. And I'll see you all on the next one. Alright, I love you all.